This is Burner, and you need to read her story to find out why she has the biggest beef with this guy named Great. The story kicks off in the poverty-stricken Block 5, with a woman running away from the administrator of Block 5, the one and only Great, whose number one law is that every crime is punishable by death. Every crime. Murder. Death. Assault. Death. Jaywalking. Death. Even spitting on the side of the road gets you turned into a hashtag. And guess what? The fugitive lady stole some bread for her starving little brother on the verge of death. And you get to see Great give her a third person view of her body. And where is Burner in all of this? He's keeping her head down, making some money to one day escape Block 5 by being the punching bag of the rich. Solid plan until she punches the wrong guy and finds herself on the wrong side of the law and in the sights of great. And I hope I've tickled your story bones just enough for this story of survival, hope, revenge, revolution. And if that doesn't do it for you, then the artwork and these hands will make you love it. Who's not dead? So my friends have been hounding me to watch Tokyo Revenges saying that it's right up my alley. And I told them I have no idea what an alley is. So admittedly I dragged my feet and on one of my very rare, rarer than a chicken with a full set of teeth, three days, I watched a few episodes. Three to be exact. And my verdict is, I came for the fists and I stayed for the delinquent who wants to bring back biker gangs. And also time travel. Yeah, this thing goes places and that's just the first three episodes. The quick and dirty synopsis is that Takamichi is a spineless member of society. Finds out that his one and only girlfriend has been killed due to gang violence. And while he's feeling sorry for himself waiting for his train, he gets pushed into the tracks and then time travel happens and it's worth a watch and it's good. So go watch it. Come on! Batman, Wayne Family Adventures. And it is very wholesome. It follows, well, the Bat Family. It follows Batman, Alfred, Barbara, Damien, Dick, Duke, Jason, Cassandra, and many more of the Bat Family. Highlighting the most wholesome side of the Bat Family I have ever seen. I just love their family and home dynamic. And not, you know, giving crazy people more brain damage with catastrophic head injuries alongside most things. And it's amazing in all its family screw-ups, weird things I never really considered. And the art is quite delightful. I mean, and it's also very super duper over the top official endorsed by DC because they made it. I think three episodes are on webtoons. Go give it a look. It's nice. It is a very swelligant time. And with that, I bid you a ta. See you next time and do all the YouTube goodness. Thank you. Thank you.